Hi, I'm a first year medical student and I want to share some thoughts about the Grey's Anatomy episode, The Other Side of Life. If you haven't seen this episode yet, then please skip my video, but if you have um, and would like to know a little bit more about what was going on with Susan Gray's hiccups with her surgical procedure and with acupuncture, then please stick around. I'm only going to be about a couple minutes. Basically, when Susan Gray came in, she had the hiccups. And what that means is usually some kind of underlying problem. In her case, that meant she had acid reflux. And Miranda decided to give Susan Gray a drug called chlorpromazine. And that helped with some symptomatic relief. That helped relieve some of the symptoms. But then they decided to go with something much more drastic, which is called an endoscopic gastrification. And what exactly was that? I wasn't quite sure, but I looked it up and apparently this is where you take a camera and you stick it past the mouth and down into the esophagus, which is this tube that's connecting the mouth and the stomach. And near this area between the mouth and the stomach, there's a region called the lower esophageal sphincter. And with the camera, you can see that area. And then you make these sutures, which are these stitches, and create these folds, which prevent more acid reflux from occurring. I wondered about how effective would a procedure like endoscopic gastrification be. And so I looked it up online, and I found this paper from the British Medical Journal Publishing Group. Here we are at PubMed, which is the National Library of Medicine website. And I basically typed in gastroplication and you see here it says long-term failure of endoscopic gastroplication. And it basically says that endoscopic gastroplication fails long-term. They usually use it only for young patients and for patients who have some kind of physiological or anatomical abnormality. And it's only for short-term. Susan Gray was more in her 40s and 50s and this was not exactly the procedure that usually um, if you have simple hiccups or acid reflux this is not what you usually get. Unfortunately what happened with Susan Gray is that she ended up getting an infection from the procedure which led to bacterial endocarditis. This is an infection in her heart valves and then this further progressed to even more serious infection probably septic shock which is a type of infection that overwhelms your entire body's ability to fight off further infections and oftentimes this leads to death. In Susan Gray's case, this was what happened. She passed away and couldn't recover. So there was a lot of blame involved. I thought about sharing something with you, which was that acupuncture can be helpful for hiccups. Um, interestingly, in the same episode, there was an acupuncturist who gave Addison some acupuncture for her stress. And when I was in China last year, I studied acupuncture for three months. And one of the things that the teacher told us was that he had a lot of success with acupuncture and hiccup relief. Of course, if you have hiccups, you probably have some kind of underlying problem. So definitely you got to get it checked out. But in terms of relief of the hiccups, acupuncture seemed to help. But this was all kind of based on my memory, based on what my teacher told me. And I wanted to look it up for myself to see to what extent this was true. And I went on to PubMed and apparently there are a lot of published case reports about how hiccups could be prevented or treated with acupuncture. So this is the PubMed website again. And I typed in acupuncture and hiccup and we'll see what kind of search results we got. As you see, there are 33 articles and all of these seem to be case reports from journals that you may not have heard of, Journal of Traditional Chinese Medicine, Acupuncture Medicine, American Journal of Medical Sciences. These are just case reports though, and something to be careful about are the fact that case reports are not the most rigorous types of research involved. Um, oftentimes they're just based on observation, and people can make some mistakes in the observations. It could be a coincidence, different kinds of factors. But I did think it was interesting because acupuncture is very safe. It's not painful. Um, on the Grey's Anatomy episode, it made it kind of seem painful, but it's not painful. And there are very few side effects if you have a certified practitioner. And it's an intervention that's very safe. It's much safer than the endoscopic gastrification that the surgeons did. Um, so I thought I would just bring it up into consideration 
and as a conversation starter because I think this is relatively under the radar. Acupuncture is known more for treatment of osteoarthritis and different other kinds of pains, but nobody really thought about acupuncture for hic hiccups before. Um, at least none of the none of my friends or none of my professors here in Boston had ever thought about hiccups and acupuncture before. So um, I thought I'd share some of these ideas with you and thank you for listening.